This is Music Mukbang, and today we are talking to Lauren of Girl House. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm good. So how are you? Not talking to you at all yet. <laughs> yeah, like we're just kicking this off. <laughs> I'm doing well. So you just released uh you don't think about me, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about the process for that song? Um yeah uh who did I write that with oh our friend Carrie Kay who's an amazing co-writer here in Nashville mm -hmm. um we really wanted to use more co-writers for this EP like yeah. usually it's just me and some friends or like just me and Tyler and we're just like making something you know mm -hmm. um and so that was really cool uh to collab with people that are just like so specifically writers and she's just like so awesome um yeah i don't know it just flowed really easy it was first day that we met carrie and it was really cool yeah. yeah and what would you say has been like different thus far about making songs for this new ep as opposed to past projects i mean definitely like more collaboration like learning yeah. to like really collab because i've just like kind of been creating in a vacuum for so long like mm -hmm. the band was made in 2020 so it was very much a covid response yeah. like to the world <laughs> um sure. and um we were in another band that like wasn't able to tour and you know just every so we wanted to do something different but yeah i kind of like made it very much about like keeping it in-house and so yeah i think what made it different was really just like allowing other voices to come in, you know? Yeah. And I think that's so like helpful too, because then you guys are learning as artists as well. You're picking up little things as you go. That's Yeah, exactly. And just, go ahead. Just with like better and better writers, like I feel like you get better. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah. So you mentioned that you guys are a COVID band, so to speak, what prompted, <laughs> what prompted Girl House to come to be? Um, just like, I guess, sitting in feelings that were uncomfortable for a while, you know, it really forced us to have to express it in a healthy way. Like there was just so much fear. There was so much anger. There was so much sadness. There was so much unknown. And I think all of those are just like really great things to explore yeah. there's always little mysteries in those feelings you know those really really big feelings and yeah. so i love diving in and so i think that's really where girl i was like okay let's dive into this really traumatic and painful memory and what did we learn there what did we get out of that like what nugget is in there that's what i was looking for little nuggets yeah um yeah so i think exploring big feelings yeah, for sure. And you're in another band called Wild. Mm -hmm. For the people that are just discovering your music, or how would you kind of differentiate the sounds of the two bands and the vibes? I mean, Wild was very folk driven. It was very <laughs> folk pop driven. It was very like, let's keep it light. Let's keep it positive just so people can have a good time. The world is yeah. hard enough, you know, yeah, all yeah. of that. For but sure. it was kind of leaving this void in me for like, you know, like other emotions other than happiness. Yeah. Because it's like it's all good to be like, you know, there needs that. Like, you know, the world needs that. It's like inspiring music and like shit that drives you, you know, for right. sure. But um, I felt like there was something missing a little bit from on my like creative side. Mm -hmm. So I'm really happy that I can kind of like live in both worlds. It's really yeah. Really it's kind of like alter ego in a sense of like sad boy. Oh, like, Miley Cyrus! Like they call me yeah. Miley Cyrus all the time. No, they don't. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, no, that's awesome because then it, it. I feel like that's helpful too creatively because then you can kind of shift your mind. Okay, I'm doing stuff for Wild. It's going to be in this kind of realm. And yeah, you can save your darker stuff for right. girl house. <laughs> and it really frustrates me when I can only do one or the other. Like if someone, like you know, if girl house is popping off, then people want to like write for girl house. And if like yeah. wild, like sometimes wild just like pops off out of nowhere. You know, mm -hmm. like it'll get big on like a Instagram reel or something, and then all of a sudden our like monthly listeners are a million. And I'm just like, we're not. We're just 
we're not doing anything. <laughs> okay, I want to do that now. Yeah. And then, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I like, I want to, like, I think the goal ultimately is to, like, be able to pick and choose which one I want to do and where mm -hmm. I'm feeling. Because we're not ever just, like, one thing, you know? Right. How, I mean, has it been difficult to manage that then? Like Totally. Oh, yeah. Like, like how do you how do you like divide it is it like okay like monday wednesday friday i'm doing girl house or does it just kind of depend on how you're feeling i think it like kind of i'd like it to kind of depend on how i'm feeling you know yeah yeah i think i've had to really like step into my power a lot you know and like i don't i don't know that wasn't that wasn't something that really came naturally to me and so right. um yeah i think like always still trying to find that balance but the more flexibility we have with like where we live too, that definitely mm -hmm. helps as well. Yeah. So you're from Nashville. What made you want to live there? Um, just something different. I mean, I'm not really a huge fan of the South, if I'm being real. Um, it's just I'm not I'm a West Coast person and it's been a big culture shock for me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it was definitely something different and I wanted to try. Um, yeah. I'm from the Northwest, so I'm from the, like outside of Portland, Oregon. Okay. And then I lived in LA for eight years and then I lived in New York for a little while too. And I was like, you know what? Haven't tried the Southeast. So let's give it a try. And it's beautiful. Like it's mm -hmm. super, super mm -hmm. gorgeous here. I'm so glad that we're out here and like, like giving things a shot. It's Nashville obviously is not just country music and all that there's a whole variety of genres but do you find that you know it being such like a country heavy like area that that has kind of taught you anything about the way you make music or like exploring I mean yeah there's like it's called music city for a reason yeah. you know like it's yeah, like yeah. there's just like a huge industry here. And it's really interesting to like learn from other musicians, even though they're doing something different than I'm doing, you know, it, the, the industry does change a little bit between like country and indie, but like, I don't know. As a whole, I feel like it, it definitely expanded the storytelling element in my writing. Yeah. So I think, yeah, it's cool. Do you have a favorite place then that you've lived thus far since you've lived all over? Mm, I mean, I loved every place. Um, I have just like this like long tumultuous relationship with La Los Angeles. Um, yeah, I, and I always seem to go back. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love living in the Northwest. I really love just the drama of like the mountains there and everything. Mm -hmm. um, I like visiting New York. You know. <laughs> I like visiting. <laughs> I love visiting New York. It's beautiful. It's so fun. It's super cool. Great. I mean, it's so exciting and so cool. I just am just too like sensory overstimulated for yeah. a city like that, you know? And it's like, you just walk outside your front door and there's like a guy in a clown mask just like holding a bat on a bicycle and just like pointing at you like you yeah. know if you're going for that vibe like a thousand percent right I'm just like not thick-skinned like that I'm terrified of so many things oh <laughs> I know Sam you toured in the summer mm -hmm. with Halsey and the Rex mm -hmm. toured with Sabrina Carpenter what and you're about to go on tour too with Copeland what, oh, we just did we just oh, finished that one you yeah. just finished you just finished tour with Copeland what <laughs> what do you like most about touring um I love the structure I mm -hmm. like waking up and like having something to do that I love like every single day I love being excited every single day that I wake up I like going to different cities and finding like a cute coffee shop. I like the cute venues and like the way that people show up, like who's in the front row. Like I love yeah. everything about it. I absolutely love everything about it. Do you, do you, 
do you ever find like I know a lot of artists would be like well I get like super super exhausted like mid tour I get kind of like burnt out do you ever find yourself experiencing that or is it always like like fine for you I mean I think it's easy to get burnt out just like I don't know like just being around you know like your your squad like your besties all the time you know even yeah. if they're the best people in the world you kind of just like need a I need a lawn space you know like right. I need a so I've been like trying to like bring a book or like put my, I got these, the noise canceling headphones from Apple, you mm -hmm. know, the green mm -hmm. ones, those saved my life. Like with them during the Rex tour, which was really long, I started to really get burnt out. And so I got those headphones and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> silence. This is so great. Um, yeah. So I definitely feel burnout. I think it's like natural though. Yeah. How would you describe like the different experiences for the different tours? Because obviously they're not all the same. They were all completely different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. The Rex was very much like it was so long and I'm so glad how long it was because it really gave us a chance to like figure out what our set was. That was our first tour as this band. Yeah. And we really just like have always just been like, all right, we're going to run tracks this way and we're going to do this, you know, and like Mm -hmm. we have a like touring experience but it's just i don't know there's something really different about this band that i really really like and so we have like so many opportunities to like play and so that was really what the rex was about it was like trying different things experimenting like just like with the set itself and what we could with just like us on stage you know yeah we could kind of like make the set feel really really good um and then sabrina was just the first i don't know i've never heard people scream music like that <laughs> um and it was so cool like just like having like a hype crowd like that like yeah. all supporting this like supreme girly you know like mm -hmm. she's awesome and like that was really cool like she has like her own perfume like she's like true star like she gets out of like a car and people start screaming like it's nuts yeah. i've never experienced that before and so that was super super cool um and then copeland was just literally like so chill like it that was just so relaxed it was only four shows for with us mm -hmm. and um it was just like so fun and so easy it was just really really relaxed yeah it, it seems like you got a little taste of everything and then yeah. when you it's guys go on palsy. tour yeah yeah when you guys yeah. go on tour you'll just you'll know what you want yeah i think like next time we go on tour um which we are but I like, can't announce it yet. Okay. Um, it's on going on tour with another band that you will never guess. <laughs> um, uh, Cause all of the, you know, between Rex and Sabrina and Halsey and yeah. Copeland, I feel like we're kind of going all across the board. We're trying to just meet as many people as we can, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, so yeah, that tour is gonna happen eventually mm -hmm. this year. Um, and uh yeah, we're going to try out some even more things. I'm awesome. like really excited. Do some so, more production. My mind automatically goes to heavy metal band. So I guess we'll okay. see. <laughs> okay. Okay, good guess. Really good guess. <laughs> I feel like I should start like a poll or something and have people guess. Yeah, definitely. That's a fun idea. I, I think you'll get, you'll probably get at least one person that'll guess it. Yeah, maybe. So do you find that through getting like your set down pat and like touring with all these different audiences that you were able to build your sound further or it changed how you approached writing music yes oh my gosh like the whole new ep is so just like revolves around like what songs are going to be fun live like we just wanted to make five songs that like we would absolutely love playing live and i do like you don't think about me is so fun live mm -hmm. and worth it is so cool live as well oh my gosh yeah we played it for the copeland um crowds and they loved it oh and so that goodness. was sick like that was so fun um but yeah i'm really that, excited that makes me so happy to hear because i feel like everyone like i talk to when they're like yeah like I, ever since i like went on tour like now i'm just like making stuff that's like you know cool and like you can build off of when you're performing live and like make yeah. a whole experience and stuff. So it's really awesome that the songs can kind of like transcend both like streaming and live like that. 
Well, yeah. I mean, I think because we weren't touring for so long. Yeah. You know, it's like now we're out and we just are like, oh, yeah, music is not just for Spotify and Apple Music and Tidal. You know, music also is li it's a living thing that like yeah. you perform, you know? Yeah. So. For sure. Totally. Um, so you're an actress as well. You've been on Kinda, a, yeah. couple, <laughs> a couple of TV shows. Yeah. Um, and you've had songs and movies as well. What would you like? How did you get into music? Was it same time as the acting or did you like try the acting first? How did that come, uh, come about? Well, I was also on Broadway. So I always had like a big musical theater background. And yeah. so my thing when I was like younger was I was like, I'm going to be like an opera singer. I'm going to be like, you know, I'm mm -hmm. going to be like, I was just a huge theater nerd. And so I think I learned the technical side of music through that because I yeah. love music theory. I love just like vocal tricks. Like I love all those things. And so, yeah, I think it really started there. But then just like, I was always just writing music and trying to, I don't know, like it was my like my diary, you know, yes. just like very much just wanting to express myself that way. Mm -hmm. um, and it wasn't until I did the Broadway show and I came back to LA that I really started like focusing on figuring out how to do it as a job. Yeah. What um, what show on Broadway was it, if you don't mind me asking? It was the revival of Spring Awakening. OK. Um, it was uh, with this company called Deaf West and they take musicals and they make them accessible to deaf people, blind and deaf people. Like uh, we had our first, like the first woman in a wheelchair was on our show, um, mm -hmm. but half the cast was deaf. It was just like, it was like a really cool experience. And I worked on that show for three years and um, yeah, and it just, it was crazy. It changed my life. Yeah, I, I can only imagine. So you, you know, finished up on Broadway, you started, you said you started to kind of work to make it a job for you. How did you go about doing that? Was it just like happened naturally? Um, I knew some people that were producers or other songwriter friends, um, Tyler, who is producer and our band mm -hmm. but he's also in wild as well okay and so um i i don't know i just i started working with a lot of friends and and other producers and just reaching out to as many people as i could uh so much of a mess you know like just like having to learn an entirely different business like thinking that i knew anything at all um but constantly being wrong and um yeah, 